recording now. All right. Um, so thanks, thanks guys for coming. Uh, today is February 26, 2021. Uh, this is the um, Kubernetes CSI migration open source meetings. Um, so today I think we will go over our agenda agendas. Um, so first, I have an update around the CSI migration metrics. So through the couple of weeks, last couple of weeks, I, the, the, there is a couple of PRs regarding the CSI migration metrics uh, that are being merged. So I wanted just to um, call this out and uh, let everybody knows this change. So basically the change, the summary of the changes are the in the existing storage operation duration seconds metrics, uh, which this metrics will be um, will be emitted from the kubelet, both kubelet and the kube controller manager. And uh, so right now we're adding a new field called migrated to this metrics, so that if you if we enable CSI migration, um, we will see if this operation is actually a CSI migrated operation or it's uh, it's just a pure CSI um, operation. The second change is on the CSI set cars operation seconds metrics. So basically, this metrics are being emitted from the CSI set cars, uh, namely the CSI attacher, provisioner, and uh, resizer. So basically, we're all, we're also at a new field called migrated, um, you know, so that we we will be able to distinguish uh, whether this is the CSI direct operation or not. And finally, we're adding another new matrix, um, which is called CSI operation seconds. So this one is a little bit different from the, the CSI set car operation seconds because the CSI set cars operation seconds only records the controller side CSI operations like, um, like controller publish volume, controller unpublish volume, create volume, delete volume, et cetera. But there are a couple of CSI calls are are being called from the kubelet set, including like node stage volume, node published volume, node unpublished volume, and those operations are um, originally not being recorded. So we're adding this new matrix uh, to record that. So I just wanted to call it call this out. These three metrics will be. Um, so we'll, we'll be like used to for the CSI migration metrics feature. So if, if anyone, like if any cloud provider or any SREs are consuming this metrics, um, please make sure that um, we had the changes also being updated. Um, all right, so any questions around the metrics? All right, sounds good. So um, we will go to the discussion. Uh, so I think there's one item I wanted to talk about, uh, which we have already talked about before, but so basically um, I attend the C cluster lifecycle meeting and uh, I notified them that the CSI migration feature is coming on the way. Um, so, Basically, we, we just wanted to make sure that all the um, existing, like uh, well-used Kubernetes distribution tools are um, like aware of this upcoming change and they make the corresponding change that is uh, install the corresponding CSI driver to the corresponding platforms. Uh, so I created different issues. Uh, basically, they, they mentioned three different platforms. Uh, there are KubeSpray and the cluster API and also uh, KOps. So uh, I just wanted to uh, mention this again to let everybody like, uh, please make sure that um, you contact with the, with you, you, you take a look at this three um, popular Kubernetes distribution tools and uh, make sure that um, 
your CSI drivers are being installed uh, before you turn turn on the uh, turn on by default. Okay, um, so I guess that's what we have today. Um, anybody wants to talk about any status update to the drivers? Um, if there's no one else wants to talk, I just want to mention that for GCEPD, we are still planning on turning on by default in 121. This was, we had uh, mentioned this at the last meeting after some internal discussion, we've decided we would like to do this for sure, unless anybody thinks it's a horrible idea for any reason. Great. Yeah. So I guess uh, silence is consensus. <laughs> I think 1.21 is, is good. Uh, this will also yeah. including like fixing the eyes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. we've been doing that in, um, Internally, so so certainly by um, time this is done, uh, this is done. The open source CI should be in a nice state. Yep, sounds good. Are there any other updates around the other drivers? Uh, EBS driver. Matt, do you have any update? Uh, no. I was okay. working on the Windows thing. Everything else sure. is still targeting one yeah. two two. Mm -hmm. And uh, on Azure Disk, another file I synced with Andy, and uh, it seems um, it's both on by default in one point twenty two and GA in one point twenty three. So uh, for other file, there is an uh, remaining item. So Azure file is going to be beta in this release, uh, but we're going to uh, deprecate some of the entry features. I'm not sure if Hamant is here. Um, I think in the six storage meeting, we mentioned that we want Hamant to uh, basically follow up on this. Um, so I, I can follow up with him offline. And uh, on the OpenStack Cinder drivers, there are a couple of PRs. Uh, I think Yang is actively working on that and it's looking good. Um, so for Wayasphere, I think we had, um, did we have a meeting with the SIG architecture and then we get some exception uh, so yeah. that we can, well, so we talked to SIG Architecture and uh, they said mm -hmm. that it is okay for a beta feature uh, to be uh, uh, basically ch change the default behavior as long as the mm -hmm. flag exists to be able to revert to the uh, previous behavior. Uh, and so in this case, since it is a, a, a beta opt it'll be beta even if we change the default to opt out as long as there's the ability to opt out uh, and go back to the entry driver uh, it should be fine so we're unblocked from that side I think the only recommendation mm -hmm. they had was please make sure that uh, you include uh, release notes that say action required as part of 121 and uh, future releases to let people know that this is coming and what the uh, requirement versions are for the deprecation. And uh, and I think there was one other piece uh, that Jordan wanted, uh, I think around testing uh, that uh, was all, it's all being tracked in that deprecation PR. Okay, cool. That sounds good. Um, yeah, thank you for the update.
Um, okay, so going to the Ceph FS in Ceph RBD. Um, so originally I saw some PRs regarding the RBD CSM migration and I saw every someone is working on this. And then I contact to that person and he said, uh, he's not, he's just doing some experimental and uh, he also contact um, the Ceph's uh, like maintainer and they mentioned that they do not want to, uh, they do not have any plan to do the CSM migration. <clears throat> so is the plan to just so, deprecate? Yeah, I guess if, uh, if still like by the end of this release or next release, it's still, no one is doing this, we will deprecate this. Okay, we should surface this in the uh, SIG meeting to see if everyone's okay with yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. And I wonder if anyone uh, from the Rook project would be interested. I thought, uh, wasn't Humble looking at this? I don't remember. There's a yeah, Humble. There's an enhancement issue open for it. Oh, uh, I can. F I will follow up. Uh, I'll talk to Humble and say. Well, Humble, I, I think Humble is like not being able to work on this recently. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I guess the main thing is we haven't really, we've been focusing a lot on the, the timelines for cloud provider plugins because that's part of the whole cloud provider extraction effort. But I don't know if we, you know, we haven't been driving um any dates or for the non-cloud provider plugins so um maybe that is a first step that we need to sort of decide on like do we want to now that the cloud provider extraction is is in full swing um the next phase is to look at the non-cloud plugins and we'll probably want to start set you know setting some expectations or timelines for that second phase yeah, I think that makes sense. Um, yeah, I'll I'll do that offline, and uh, we can discuss this in the next uh, meeting. All right. Um, so I think for the other drivers, non-cloud provider drivers, um, is there anybody? Is there anything that anybody wants to talk about? We have an update for the PoWorks uh, CSI okay. migration. Um, yeah. Oksana, do you want to give that update? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, hi, everyone. <clears throat> so uh, I started working on on this uh, driver, and uh, our plan is uh, uh, so we uh, we think that we we're gonna get the design phase by one twenty one, and the uh, beta target is one twenty two. And uh, one twenty three or one twenty four is uh, G. Uh, sorry, you mean the alpha and design both at the same time, or? Uh, uh, yes. Yes. Okay. I think we mit, um, we missed the deadlines for one twenty one new features, so I think. We can, I think, targeting alpha and one twenty two is probably a, a more feasible thing we can do. Okay. Yeah. So let's do alpha then. Um, one twenty two. Yeah, we can plan maybe like beta in twenty three. Okay, and G one twenty four looks yeah uh, looks reasonable. So, yeah. All right, uh, sounds good. Uh, so this is the, uh, sorry, which driver, which entry plugin? Um, it's the PoWorks entry plugin. Okay. And uh, yeah, can you guys like help to link the CSI driver um, link here and 
And what uh, what's the status of the, the driver? Is that already GA or the driver is still in beta? Uh, the driver is GA, yeah. OK, cool. All right. Um, yeah, feel free to let me know if you have any questions or um, issues uh, doing the design and, and stuff. OK, thank you. All right, I, uh, is anyone have any other stuff they wanna talk about? Going once, going twice. Uh, do you have a link yeah. to a cap or anything about the metrics or is this just? Oh yeah, um, we had an issue, I think. Let me find that. Um, So we were using the the Kubernetes ASI um, projects to tracking the CSI migration status. Maybe I should link it here. Um, so here you will see we have the CSI uh, migration matrix. So we, we haven't, we didn't have a cap for this, but I think all the contacts and uh, all the PRs related to this are um, are being tracked in this issue. Um, so yeah, if you wanna to have a look, please feel free. Um, Thanks. Okay. Okay, any other questions? Going once, going twice. All right, uh, thanks everyone. Um, we'll have your 20 minutes back. Thank you. I'll see you in um, three weeks. All right, thanks, take care.